happy Saturday for episode four. This little fella is gonna be the star of the show. We are making stuffed acorn squash and oven roasted chicken tonight. I am so excited. We are gonna be pairing that wonderful fall comfort food dinner with this delicious One Hope Elway Chardonnay. Stay tuned, it's gonna be D to the Lish. Hey guys, so excited to make the drink in the kitchen tonight because I am going to be making a drink two different ways. You heard me right, two different ways. I'm gonna be making Big Funky C in apple cider old fashioned. And then I'm going to flip the coin and I'm going to be making myself a caramel apple cider martini. Watch how I do this. I'm so excited. So first I'm gonna core the apple just with my little core guy here. I'm just gonna push him down then. Boom, and that's how you core an apple. And then I'm going to slice him nice just nice thin slices I want to keep the skin on too now I'm going to take the ice just going to put him in the bottom of the glass I'm going to take two ounces of basil Hayden's and measure those right in and then I'm gonna take my pre-measured two-thirds cup of apple cider, pour that right over. Then I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna use a few dashes of bitters, I'd say like three. Then I'm going to take an apple slice, float it right in. And there is an old fashioned for a big funky sea with apple cider. Babe, tell me how it is. Right, that was a, super easy to make, guys. Give it a go here. So easy. So I'm just gonna chill my martini glass with some ice and water. I'm just going to measure the same Basil Hayden's, two ounces. I'm gonna measure out two thirds of a cup of apple cider. Okay, pour that in. I'm not going to use any bitters in mine. I'm just going to do the whiskey and the or the the bourbon and the um, apple cider in mine. Watch this, you guys. So excited! I'm going to drizzle the caramel syrup all around the inside of the glass, and then I'm just going to pour the martini. Oh my gosh, you guys! How delicious does that look? And then I am going to garnish. There you go, that's better, and it floats too. <gasps> Cheers, babe. And that's how you can make the same, oh, that's how you can make two different drinks with the same ingredients. Mmm. A perfect martini to kick off our harvest baking afternoon. This is really freaking good. <laughs> D to the lish. Mm. Ah, cheers, everyone. Oh, hell, I could sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Mm. 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 That is quite something. All right, hey guys, so I'm so excited to tell you guys what I'm doing tonight. I just dreamt this up, you know why? Because I was walking in Aldi, as I do, and I found this Hawaiian stuffing mix with sage and onion. It's made with the Hawaiian bread. I don't know about you guys, but I love the Hawaiian bread. That sweet bread, oh, it's so good. I love it with sliders. It's just those rolls are amazing. And I thought, oh my gosh, I could pick this up. And it's so easy to make from a box. I can whip this together with some sausage, some toasted walnuts, and dried cranberries, and make that as my stuffing mix to stuff in my oven roasted acorn squash. We're gonna make like acorn squash bowls. And that will be a nice harvest side to our oven roasted garlic and herb chicken that we're going to make. I think it's important to toast your nuts because it releases the, the oils and 
just really gives them a nice flavor that will combine really well with all the goodness that we've got going on here. So I have these spread out on my pan. I'm just gonna throw them in the oven. I'm actually preheating my oven right now to 425, which is what I'm gonna roast the chicken and the acorn squash at. But I'm gonna throw these fellas in. They're not gonna need very long in the oven, but I just wanna roast them up for a few minutes. We'll lay those off to the side to cool and they'll be ready to go to mix into our stuffing and sausage mix. Stay tuned. Okay guys, while our nuts are in the oven toasting, we are going to split our squash in half. Don't be giving mama any lip. Ooh, there we go, got it. Okay, Whew. now look at all these seeds. Now if you wanted, you can scoop the seeds, clean them off, and you can roast these up too like pumpkin seeds. Am I gonna do it? No, but you could. <laughs> so now we're just scooping out the insides, and the cookie scoop works the best for this guy. Ooh, it works the best for this because you just get in there, kind of scrape it all out, and then just right into your garbage bowl. So you'll get all that nice and scooped out, and this is the perfect bowl to fill with our squash stuffing mix that we're going to be making. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is brush some olive oil and some salt and pepper on these fellas. I'm gonna put them on a baking tray. In fact, it's gonna be the same baking tray I'm using for my nuts. And then I'm going to roast those in the oven while we roast our chicken. These guys should probably roast at 425 for probably between 45 minutes and an hour. Gonna be so yummy. Hmm. Okay, guys. So for those of you that love chicken, let me tell you how cost effective it is to roast an entire chicken. This guy here is a six pound chicken. That's huge. A six pound chicken? We're gonna be eating off this thing for a week. And it was only $5.71. Are you kidding me? This whole bird was $5.71. All right, now I think I need to rinse this chicken and then pat it dry. And then we're going to whip up a concoction to uh, glaze over the top of it and stuff some things in the cavity. We're gonna throw this fella in the oven for like maybe an hour and a half, we'll see. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are ready to get started. I have about three cloves of minced garlic already taken care of. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of olive oil mixed right in with my garlic. And then I'm gonna do a quarter cup of white wine. Now, I'm going to take some lemon, squeeze it facing up so you can catch the seeds. Okay, I'm just gonna stir this up. This is white wine, quarter cup of white wine three tablespoons of olive oil and three cloves of garlic. And I ended up getting from the store, instead of just rosemary, I wanted to do this poultry herb blend. I did this last year for Thanksgiving too, and it was really good. So I'm just gonna strip some thyme into this. So I'm just going to stir some thyme in, but what I'm gonna be, stuffing inside the chicken is gonna be sage, rosemary, and thyme, all stuffed inside the chicken with a clo with a, actually a head of garlic and a half of a lemon. <laughs> this chicken is gonna be D to the lish. All right, throw all these cloves right in. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna take my herbs. Are you kidding me right now? Stuffing them in, sage. I'm just gonna stuff all that in. <sighs> and the lemon, I'm gonna squeeze some of this lemon. And I'm just gonna put the whole thing right in there. Yes! Oh gosh, look, oh yeah. All over, we're just gonna take this white wine, garlic, and, and uh, olive oil, and we're just gonna Rub it all over the chicken. Now we're gonna take our salt and pepper. We're gonna put that on and then we're gonna tie our legs. Put my salt. Mm, mm, mm. 
I love cracked black pepper. All right, let's tie some legs. I've, I've never done this before, you guys. You are seeing a novice, a novice chicken leg tire in the making right here. But I'm gonna do it. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? Come on now, get up there. Hey, don't be trying to bust out. Is there a method here? Maybe I have to, ooh, ooh. Maybe I should have tied them before I put the oil on. Maybe I'll do a roundabout like this. Get it holstered first. You think? Like that. And then, bring them together. Yeah, like that. Hello, legs. Beautiful. And then I can cut this if I had some scissors. Yes. All right. Now we got the chicken legs tied. We got the chicken stuffed. Aren't the wings supposed to be tucked somehow? I don't know. Well, it'll be fine. Look at how gorgeous that looks. I'm going to put him in the oven at 425. He'll probably go for, I'd say, I'll check him after an hour, but it's definitely probably going to be about an hour and a half because he is a six pound fella. He's going to take a little while to cook through. This is going to be so good, you guys. Time to pull the squash. Woo! There's lots of sizzling happening here. Mmm, look at how gorgeous that squash is. Let me just fork it and make sure that it's, oh yeah, it's perfect. Oh, yummy. All right, now I'm gonna cover the chicken. Some of that garlic is a little bit crispy. I'm gonna cover the chicken and turn the oven down for the last like 30 minutes. Hey guys, our chicken is out of the oven and resting. It is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to dive in. We also have our acorn squash, beautifully roasted, nice and tender. And I already have put together our stuffing mix. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did quickly. All I did was take a log of sausage. I browned it in a pan. I just followed the directions on the box of stuffing mix and made it in the, in the little sauce pot. And then I added in the walnuts that you saw me roast in the beginning of the episode. And then just a few sprinkles of dried cranberries. So now I'm just gonna take that in my cookie scoop and I'm gonna spoon that mixture, right. mixture, right in to the acorn squash bowls. Stuffed acorn squash. If this isn't, you could even do this for Thanksgiving could be your one of your sides oh I'm just making a mess over here I don't even care look how pretty that is and we got leftovers for later excellent all right we get these guys on a plate let's carve up our chicken big funky C is gonna do the honor on that one hey guys it's time to taste the wine I'm really excited about the selection that I picked to go with our dinner tonight because I've really been in a Chardonnay mood and I think this wine is gonna pair wonderfully with our dinner tonight. So this is our John Alway collection wine. We have a Cabernet and a Chardonnay that we sell in One Hope that is uh, from John Alway. And this wine is a Carnero Chardonnay. It's crisp and there's apple on this wine. There's also vanilla and smooth oak. One of the things that I love about One Hope is the fact that every bottle contributes toward a charity. And this particular cause helps reunite veterans with a sense of purpose through disaster relief. And I didn't even know that this particular bottle did that when I picked it for the dinner tonight. And I was just saying to Carl, it's ironic that Veterans Day is this coming week. So I just thought, wow, hmm, sometimes things are meant to be, right? Let's shine, shine a light on our veterans. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who is serving or has served in the military. Um, I appreciate everything that you do for our country. And I just want to say thank you. So, and thank you to One Hope that is helping donate to such an important cause. Let's get to tasting, babe. Have some Chardonnay. Mm. 
Mm. Yes. I definitely get the oak on this wine. It actually, though, it's interesting because it is, I feel like it's balanced because it has, you get the oak, but then there's also that crispness. So it's really, it's kind of like the best of both worlds, right? This tastes like Super Bowl championships at Mile High Stadium. There you go, John Elway. Tastes like Super Bowl championships. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. All right, it's time to give Mr. Fancy Pants his taste. Oh, he loves chicken. You're welcome. He loves chicken. It's one of his favorites. Is it good? Mm -hmm. He loves it. Hey guys, it's time to taste. Always my favorite time of the night. Look at this gorgeous dinner. And you saw how easy that was for me to whip together, right? It really wasn't hard at all. I actually found these great Brussels at the grocery store today in a bag that was sealed with a pat of butter in it. So all I had to do was toss them in the microwave really quick and heat them through, melt that butter, and they made a very perfect side. So let's get in on the squash first because obviously that is what I wanted to taste. So this was just our Hawaiian stuffing mix mixed with ground sausage, some toasted walnuts, and dried cranberries. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh you guys, this is so good. This would be a perfect side dish for Thanksgiving. If you wanted to try something new. Mm, 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 mm. Look at how gorgeous this chicken came out, you guys. Oven roasting chicken at a high temp to seal in the juices and make us nice crispy skin makes a perfect chicken every time mm. wow the flavor on this chicken is d to the lish and it was less than six dollars are you kidding me mm. babe you're gonna love this can't wait to dive in mm. Mm -mm -mm. A perfect fall harvest meal. Super easy. I hope you guys try it. Another episode of Saturday Dinners. It's a wrap. Cheers, everyone. I had a really long pause trying to remember to say dried cranberry. I don't know if that's going to sound good. What do you think? Yeah, do another one. You're going to do another one? All right. We are making stuffed acorn squash tonight, and we're going to side that. No, we're not going to side it. The main course is really the damage. All right. One more time. Oh, he doesn't want to sit right. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. How about one more time? One more take. Yeah, let's get going, babe. Oh, well, okay. I guess I, I guess I got it. Oh, yeah. All right. With my apple slice. Come on. Get on. Oh. <laughs> you can't win them all, can you? Let's try this instead. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Hello. That's some good shit right there. Mm. Do I want to cut it this way? Do I want to cut it this way, right? Carl's really feeling good about things right now that I have this ginormous knife in my hand. Hey guys, it's time to get our chicken ready. On that, okay, now, Oh, I think I see a feather. Oh. You know, chickens need showers too. Oh God, I found something. What's this? Oh God, There's something sticking out. I feel like this is the neck. It's just sitting there. Maybe it was the neck. Okay. Save the neck for me, Clark. Sorry. 
And then, oh, 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 I kicked the trash can, didn't feel good. Let's go taste. Come on, hurry up. I got it on my, the chicken's nice and tender and juicy and hot and mama wanna eat it now. Come on, come on, hurry up, let's taste. Come on, come on, hurry. Come on, what are you doing to me? I know, come on. Oh, all right, you're not tasting with us. It was that simple.